a lot of requests to show people what I do in my group. Now I can't show you a whole video, but I'm going to show you a part of a recent video that we did where I did, well, we did three projects. We did a evergreen wreath, a swag and a lantern all to match. So you're going to get to watch the lantern and you will see, and you will see the wreath and the swag we did to match. I hope you enjoy. So you see how these will go together just because we used some of the same elements in it? Yay! We're gonna do a little lantern. The easiest way to do a lantern is to take a couple of swags. So these are swags. This is why this one is Sorry, so great. I couldn't quite hear you. Stop you with it, Siri. Okay. So let's look at the elements that are in here that are in our swag and our wreath. So we have our magnolia leaves, we have our red berries, and we have these little pine pieces. This comes as one piece. So these were $5, and of course they were half off. No, they were 40% off. All right. So we have two of them. There's nothing we have to do to it. It already has a lot of the elements that we need. We have a little red lantern. And so what you want to do, let's see, where's the door? Okay, there's the door. What you want to do is you want to have one piece kind of coming down and one piece coming up. All right, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a bow on it. But first, I will cut some of this off because it's way longer than I need because this is small, okay? But what you're gonna do, let's see, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put some glue on it. Glue it up. And I'm gonna glue these two pieces together, kinda right there. And that's just going to hold for a few minutes. We're going to do something else for them as well. But I just like to have them kind of glued initially while we kind of work on the bow. All right, so this is all we have left of that one ribbon that ties it in. So what we're going to do is this is going to be the center of the bow, okay? So we'll just keep this little tiny piece and it'll be fine. So that's why we added that second ribbon in that other with the swag because now we can use it in this one and it'll still work out. Hold on, these aren't sitting together. There we go. Okay. Now. One thing we're going to do with this is we're going to put <clears throat> florist tape on it. This is in brown. So this is brown. This is in brown. There we go. Okay. Okay. This is actually the black one. But it'll be okay. So I'll just go ahead and start to tape it together. Maybe it's just really dark brown. I don't know, I can't tell. When you're using this kind of tape, what you want to do is you want to stretch it out because that's what starts the stickiness of the tape. So if you've ever had trouble getting the tape to stick, it's because you didn't stretch it enough. And you'll be able to tell because it'll get all over your hands. <laughs> you'll be like sticky hands. Alright, so, kind of go ahead and start to bend it, alright, let's see, yep, that's good, okay, another thing I like to do, I like to use rustic wire, it sure is, alright, so I like to use this stuff 
to tape on because it just makes it nicer if they ever want to change it out later. So I'll go ahead before I start everything and just tie it on here. And that's how we'll tie it on when we get ready. Okay? All right. What did I do with the ribbon? Is it still on? Oh, seriously. Snake. All right. So, we're going to have, let's try, okay, 8 inch. We have an 8 inch tail. Isn't it cute? I got this lantern at Carolina Pottery. It was $10. There's not a number on it, but it's so cute. Okay, so I'm just making a very small with four inches. Let's see. Is that gonna be an I think that's gonna be plenty enough. Alright. So it might be easier for y'all to see. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the red one. Okay. Let's move all this so y'all can see. Start off with the red one. Twist it. No, I'm sorry. Don't twist it. Just come back with the green one. So we're just about five inches. Okay. Then let's do the green on this side. So we'll twist it. Go back through. Okay. So we have two different colors now. All right, so to get this color, we just kind of pull across and we get the red. Okay, so you're only having to twist like every other time. Okay, but it makes it more fun when you're doing it this way. Now, let's go back to the red. So twist. There we go. All right, and then this one we just pull across. There we go. All right, so now I have two green, one red on this side, and we have two red and one green on this side. Okay. See, do we have enough to do two more? I think so. All right, so we'll do green on this side again, right there. Does it make it a little bit easier to tell with it being in the bow maker? And then red on that side. So there we go. All right, now we want to put this in so that we can. We don't need to do a big one, little one, like about like that. Okay, there we go. Now I can get my zip tie. <laughs> hey, Candy. All right, so I'll put the zip tie into the whole mess. Pull it out. You know, you always want to look for where the little center part is. Start to tighten it. Okay. Stretch these out. This one's going to be in the center. Like that. There we go. All right. Now we'll put our other zip tie in. There we go. Now I can tighten. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to dovetail these. Okay. Okay. So we have just a little piece. 
So now we're going to take this piece and we're going to zip tie it right in the middle of our swag. Whoop. There we go. It's easier to see. I like to use the zip ties because of course they, for one, they reinforce the two swags you put together. Oh good. And they make it a nice tight connection. Here we go. Okay. So now we'll fluff up our bow here. There. Okay. One thing we're going to do is I got these tiny little pine cones and we want to add in some more of the natural elements that we had in the others. So I'm going to put one on this side and one on this side. Yeah. You could also make a table centerpiece that would match the using the same thing. We're just going to glue it right under here. Thank you. I'm glad. All right, you can also glue it back where the little. This is going to help keep your bow up too, because you want your bow to kind of stand up, right? There we go. Isn't that cute? All right. So let's see. You could tie it around. This has that little knob piece. Okay. I think I'm tying it backwards. Hold on. Whoop! That one didn't glue in very well, did it? Okay. So if you have trouble gluing it in, Get more of your lovely sticky tape. Okay. Place it down. And then just get it on with your sticky tape. Your floral tape. I really shouldn't call it sticky tape. <laughs> it's floral tape. on one side but not on the other. There we go. Now we got it. Whoop! Wrong thing. There. Okay. Now what you can do, alright so we still want to tie it into these ones back here. So we're going to grab a little bit of our white, our off-white here. We're going to put a little bit of this in. Okay. So you don't need to have a lot in, just a little. And I'm back here. Where our red is. Let's kind of spread that out a little. Okay. But these are super easy and fast to make. And you don't have to sell the lantern with it. You can just sell 
the actual little lantern swag itself. Not that many people make these, so it is a great little item to have. in your store and they're not difficult to ship either. I don't like that there. Let's take that out. I'm gonna put one back here. Okay. Let's see. There. Okay. Okay, there we go. Haha. -ha. Alright. So you want one side up and one side down. So if you just kind of turn these down so that they kind of are against that and then this one, you kind of let it stand up. And it works out better. Okay. And there we go. All right. See how I have it tied in the back? And then you can take these, curl them up. Now you can have your bow more on the top, but I kind of like it off the side because I don't know. It's just easier for me to see. All right. Let's look at all of them together. Okay, so we have this. We have the wreath. And we have the swag. So see how they all mesh well together? This would be better if it had a little bit more of this ribbon. But since I can't find it, <laughs> we may do. All right, so I love this one. I love swags, they're just fun. See, this one has the magnolia leaves, it has the natural elements, it has the berries, and it has the little white beads. We could put some white beads and some of the berries in the bow as well. Let's put a couple of things in the bow. We have a few more of these left. So let's, let's decorate our bow up a little bit. I think that's going to help us tie it in a little better. We don't need a bunch, just a few. Okay. There it goes. Alrighty. Maybe over here. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. Didn't want to stay in. Okay. Put that in there. Yeah. That's what it needed. It just needed a little something to help it tie in a little more. I wish I had that ribbon. That would have made it better. But sometimes you just have to do with what you got. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. This was fun. I feel a lot better. I'm glad I did this. I was not feeling so hot earlier. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see that makes it look a lot better. It needed something in the bow. I will see y'all Sunday. Y'all have a good night. Bye y'all!